Okay, so we're going to take this definite integral here from 0 to pi over 4, x times tangent squared x with respect to x. Okay, so it's looking like integration by parts. We've got x and tangent squared x. And tangent squared x, we're going to use integration by parts. We might need to change that a little bit. So what we do know is that tangent squared x equals secant squared x minus 1. And then when we come to take the integral of this in integration by parts, we know that the integral of secant squared x is tangent x. Whereas when just working straight off with tangent squared x, we got a few little problems there. So, integration by parts formula. So u dv equals uv minus the integral v du. So u and dv. So we're going to set the integral here with u as equal to x. So if u equals x, du equals 1. So that's the u and the du sorted. dv. Now we said we're going to let that equal secant squared x minus 1. So dv equals tangent squared x, which equals secant squared x minus 1. So v equals the integral secant squared x minus 1 in the x world still. So that equals tangent x minus x. Okay, so that's our v. That takes care of that. Our dv is this. And our u and du we've got here. So let's go on and continue with the formula. So u dv, so the integral x tangent squared x from pi over 4 and 0 dx is u times v, so it's x times tan x minus x. So that's part of the answer. So we need to put the parameters in there from 0 to pi over 4, then subtract the integral v and du. So v is tan x minus x and du is 1. So tan x minus x. And that's dx. Okay, so the parameters of integration stay there. Okay, so we can plug in pi over 4 already here. So this equals pi over 4 tangent x. So the tangent of pi over 4, that's just 1. And then minus x, that's minus pi over 4. So that's part of the answer already. And then we take the integral of this. So the integral of tangent x, which we know is minus log cosine of x. And minus x is minus x squared over 2. So that's the answer to our integral. That's what this one is. And that's pi over 4, 0. So tangent x we know is minus log of x. And x is minus x squared over 2. Okay, let's just simplify along here and plug in our parameters on this one. So distribute the pi over 4. So it gives us pi over 4, that's with the 1. And then minus pi over 4 times pi over 4 gives us minus pi squared over 16. Okay, minus log of cosine pi over 4. Well, cosine pi over 4, this equals 1 over root 2. So now we're going to subtract minus log of 1 over root 2. That's what cosine x is. Log of 1 over root 2. And then plug in pi over 4 here. So that's minus pi squared over 16 divided by 2. 
So it's pi over 32, so just put that in there. So that's what this one is. And then when we've got a zero, cosine of zero is one. So cosine zero equals one. And then log of one, that equals zero. So nothing to put in there. But when this is zero, this term disappears. So these terms here, just put a zero in there. Okay, now let's distribute these formulas here, these are answers here. So we got pi over 4, pi squared over 16, minus, and the minus gives us plus, and then a minus and a minus gives us a plus pi squared over 32. Okay, now I'm sure we can simplify up here a little bit. So we've got pi over 4. So if we put that over 32, we get 8 pi over 32. This one over 32, we get 2 pi squared. And this one here, plus a pi squared, plus ln 1 over root 2. Okay, minus 2 pi squared plus pi squared gives us a minus pi squared. So where are we going to write this? Let's write this, write the answer here. So our answer is ln of 1 over root 2 plus, well we can leave the pi over 4 there, that's going to be fine. And then minus 2 pi squared plus a pi squared leaves us a minus pi squared. Okay, that's our answer.